gonna play with the English name and especially some diminutives like I don't know Chuck or Dick we use them every day but are we sure that we know uh, what are the original names they come from let's see it together <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, Ad Maiora. Today we're going to uh, talk about something quite funny, I think. We're not talking about grammar or literature, but we're going to talk about names. Uh, we know that, uh, I mean, in every single language we use a lot of diminutives, okay, pet names or, or shorter names. And of course there are uh, a, a lot of different ways to uh, create a shortened name. Um, of course there are many ways in, in English too, but there are some uh, diminutives that have become very popular, so popular that uh, they have become true names themselves, okay, independent, independently from the, the original name and we really uh, hear them or use them every day and probably we have forgotten uh, what is the original name they come from so it's quite funny to go back and to see uh, these diminutives and, and, and I mean the name they should represent. Of course I have to, to remind you that there are a lot of different ways to create diminutives uh, most of the times you just you can just shorten the name okay or uh, something they often do especially in uh, in America is uh, to eliminate the if there is a final vowel they just uh, eliminate it that's a way to create uh, a diminutive or as I said before they just uh, shorten just cut the name uh, or sometimes they use just the first letter of the name okay that's also quite funny just one letter to represent the whole name these are names and diminutives that have become quite popular throughout years let's see them together so let's start with the first one which is dick oh please I mean no jokes no innuendos here dick is a diminutive of a name that has well I don't know they, they don't have much in common really but let's see if you can guess the original name is actually Richard Richard of course there are many different uh, ways to shorten to sh shorten sorry a name like Richard for example I don't know rich is a way that is very very common okay nowadays especially rich is very used but Dick was actually um, the original diminutive of Richard and it's very common today then let's go on the sec actually there are two um, two different uh, uh, names here that are Harry and Hank Harry is probably a s more similar it's it's closer to the original one Hank is actually completely different and the original name is obviously Henry Henry uh, the spelling spelling is completely different here because we don't have an A but an E and uh, uh, we have the N um, so this is I mean um, we talk about about Harry Harry and Meghan and this and that and and so we use this a lot but we have to remember that this is just a sort of a pet name okay because the original name the official name should be Henry okay now let's go on Jack Jack is so so I mean it's so common it's so popular we hear all the time I don't know what you you may think about uh, the movie the Titanic or <laughs> whatever you want Jack is absolutely common and it has just a little in common with the original name just the first letter J because the original name should be John it's not really a diminutive because I mean it's not shorter it's just a sort of a pet name and uh, that's completely different and that's something that uh, people usually I don't know people don't know but um, you may know this if you're familiar with the American history and I'm talking about uh, Kennedy okay this fact of being called Jack instead of John okay let's go on Chuck Chuck this is also quite common we find it in movies a lot and Chuck is the 
pet name is not really a diminutive but yeah it's a bit shorter than the original one but not that much but this, the very beginning is the same as the original name which is Charles Charles so now if you want you can call King Charles the second you can just call him Chuck okay that's that's a good way to do it then Sally 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 is another name like Jack for example and a few others here that uh, um, is now independent from the original name and it's used I mean it's just used as a as a as a, as a real name let's say so um, so there are people that are just called and named Sally but actually originally uh, it came from another name but it's not very difficult to guess if you look at me what's my name it's Sarah of course my name is actually Sarah without an H but uh, doesn't matter okay with or without the H Sally is the also in this case it's not really a diminutive because it's not shorter it's a sort of a yeah a pet name it's a it's a okay, familiar way uh, uh, an affectionate way to call that person it's very nice actually Peggy 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 is another name that is a bit tricky because uh, uh, yeah now it's used independently from the original one and they have just I mean they have almost nothing in common and the original name is Margaret that's Margaret of course Margaret is um, I mean it's shortened in other ways like Mag or Maggie and that's quite obvious I mean, if, you, if you hear Mag you immediately think that that person's name is Margaret if you hear the name Peggy then it's probably not so obvious <laughs> but it's, it's quite nice to remember and then the next one is Ted Ted is the uh, this is really a shortened name this is really a diminutive of the name Edward also in this case Edward is um, yeah it's quite diff different from, 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 from the diminutive but there are forms that are actually uh, more similar to the original name like for example Ed okay Ed or Eddie well that's used a lot too but Ted is, 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 is fine and, uh, and, uh, and it's, uh, it's nice to know that it comes from such a different name and then again Jim Jim okay Jim is a bit easier okay it's a bit easier because it, it is really diminutive of a longer name and it's quite similar because the original name is James okay so this is well, that may this makes sense okay now what about Bill do you know uh, I mean what name mm, is, is the, actually the original name uh, for Bill it is William William obviously uh, there are other ways to um, shorten William like Will or Willie so also in this case the, the, the Prince uh, <laughs> uh, William uh, can the, the, the Duke of, 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 of Cambridge and Prince of Wales can be called eventually Bill and the, and the king can be called Chuck <laughs> okay that that's that's quite funny but however there are a lot of different names with strange or, or, or uh, quite uh, uh, weird odd um, pet names or, or, or diminutives these are some of the most common ones and so uh, for people who I mean no native speakers this is probably not that obvious so let me know if you already knew them, them. and if there are other names that you know uh, which have I mean strange diminutives okay in English or in other languages if you want to okay, just let me know in the comments thank you so very much for following and thank you for your comments if you haven't subscribed yet please do it and hit the the bell so you're updated um, every week and uh, uh, thank you so very much to all of you who decide to contribute to the, to the channel um, giving a little I mean 
support just clicking on on the button here below uh, the thanks button with a heart or using the PayPal button uh, on the home page of the channel okay even a very small contribution is actually a huge gesture that helps me and helps this activity so much I've been doing on this channel for five years now and uh, my intention it's always been I mean everything uh, is is free here and uh, it's just for everybody and my intention is <clears throat> to keep it that way and uh, of course I work a lot and uh, I I mean I put quite an effort <laughs> in order to do so but uh, if you help me we are a huge community if you help me it will be easier and uh, uh, I thank you so very much uh, and we can grow up as a community and uh, I hope I can offer more and more contents that are useful or just funny or uh, whatever <laughs> thank you very much for your affection and uh, see you very soon as usual Take care.